Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about TTY. So what exactly is TTY? Well, TTY stands for Text Telephone, or it is also commonly referred to as RTT, Real Time Text. So what exactly is a TTY used for? Well, it allows a deaf or hard of hearing person to be able to communicate with the hearing. Or you could even have um, a conversation between two TTY machines if you wanted to. So yeah, it allows them to, com to communicate uh, either with another deaf person or with a hearing person over the phone. So how exactly does it work? Well, you would take your telephone's handset and then you would put the handset in this TTY's cradle. And in the cradle right here, this is a microphone in which the TTY is always listening as soon as you turn it on, and this is the speaker. And you would just cradle the handset just like that. Anyway, so how exactly does the TTY let you communicate over the phone? Well, TTYs, they have a modem inside of them, and this modem produces bada tones. Uh, bada tones, uh, well, they are just specific tones, a specific set of tones in which are unique to every single letter, number, or symbol that's on a TTY's keyboard. So each letter, number, symbol has its own unique tone to it, but in reality, it sounds like the same um, tones, it almost sounds like the same tones, but each letter number or symbol is slightly different and unique. So let me just show you. So that's essentially what bought tones sound like. Um, <clears throat> and essentially, the TTY will put out those tones over the speaker, like you just heard, and uh, it'll go into your telephone's handset's uh, microphone, and therefore, the remote caller uh, they will receive those tones, those bottom tones, through their handset's speaker, which is going into their TTY's microphone, and then their TTY will translate those tones into the letters, numbers, or symbols that you typed on yours. So, I'm just going to go ahead and show you an example of this. Um, and FYI, TTY, that is also a common feature that is just built into most modern smartphones these days. It is definitely on iPhone, which I'm about to show you. <clears throat> so let me just give this telephone here a call using TTY. Okay. And this is on iPhone specifically. So right here I'm gonna push TTY. And it's gonna pull up a keyboard. And as soon as I start typing on my phone's keyboard here, you're probably gonna start hearing the bottom tones coming out of the telephone's handset. And therefore, what I type is gonna be relayed across my TT, the TTY machine's screen. So, let me uh, zoom in here, show you an example. So I'm gonna start typing on my phone's keypad here.
All right, there you have it. Um, let me zoom back out here real fast. So if you look at my smartphone screen here, you'll see that blue bubble is just what I typed on my keypad. And as you just saw, that's exactly what was just relayed across my TTY screen. Now, uh, I'm gonna do it the other way around. I'm just gonna type a response back on my TTY machine, and then I'll show you what it shows up as on my smartphone. Yep, that is exactly what showed up on my smartphone as well in the reply bubble here. So basically, just it basically is just like real time texting. <laughs> and also, whenever I put GA at the end of the sentence I typed, that means go ahead, and that signals to the other person um, on their TTY that it is their turn to speak. So you, you two just aren't constantly overstepping each other. All right then. Something else I wanted to go over is the TTY relay service. So essentially what you would use the relay service for is either if you are a hearing person and you wish to call a deaf person, uh, the operator would call the number that you wish and then when the deaf person answers on their TTY machine, it'll essentially be a TTY conversation between that deaf person and the operator, and the, the relay operator will read aloud what they are typing back. And they will also relay to the TTY user what you are saying verbally. Um, and yeah, I meant to say, yeah, they will read back to you verbally what they are typing back on their TTY machine. <clears throat> so, the national number to call to get a relay operator is 711. You can dial that on any American telephone. So, essentially, uh, oh yeah, something else I actually wanted to show you. You probably noticed this earlier as well. But when you turn on your TTY machine, but you don't type anything, it keeps doing these series of beeps. Let me turn it back on. And you'll see in a second. Yeah, so that right there, that essentially is to, well, it's a self-identifying feature so, uh, as soon as, well, you, as soon as you dial whatever number you want to dial as a TTY user, um, or actually, if you're a TTY user and you dial 711, um, well, by default, they're going to answer verbally. But that self-identifying feature uh, signals to an operator that this is a TTY machine that has called them and therefore the operator will switch to their TTY and start communicating with you that way instead. So it's essentially, yeah, an auditory self-identification that this is a TTY and they need to communicate with you over TTY instead. <coughs> so, let me see here. So I'm gonna give you guys a demonstration of using the relay service. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take my telephone here, and then seven one one. That's just the automated voice. but someone will eventually answer.
I'm gonna make them call my cell phone. Hello? Hello, uh, person who is deaf, hard of hearing, or has speech difficulties calling you through your Kansas Relay Service. I'm communication assistant 7670. Have you received a relay call before? I have not, no. The person on the line has hearing or speech loss. The caller tries their conversation. Okay. What happens for your call to be you? Hello, this is Nathan. Go ahead. Hello, Nathan. How can I help you? Go ahead. It seems to be working just fine, since you can relay it just fine, yeah. Okay, goodbye. Your caller needs to be All right, thank Thanks, ma'am. All right, so that seemed to be a pretty good connection. <laughs> They could understand everything that I typed on my TTY. And yeah, so that's basically, that's the basic breakdown of how this all works. Um, so yeah, it, it could also definitely work the other way around as well. Um, I could dial 711 from my smartphone, tell them the number to the TTY machine, or just the phone that's associated with the TTY and therefore they would um, connect me like the D TTY user would answer it and they would start typing on their TTY and then the operator would start communicating with them over the TTY and then yeah they'd start relating everything that we're saying so I think that's gonna wrap up this video I uh, hope this provides a pretty clear explanation on how it all works. So thank you all for watching the video and y'all have a nice day.